Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to perform the JTAG hack with a PCI expansion board card instead of using a PC with a built-in LPT uh, connector. What you need to do is firstly, JTAG NAM Pro looks for a default set of I.O. ports which uh, are not used by uh, PCI expansion cards. So what you need to do is change um, the I.O. ports it looks for. Fortunately we have a program called uh, NAND Pro IO Patcher which is included in JTAG tool, that's why I'm using it today. And um but unfortunately the the patcher only works with NAND Pro twenty D, not NAND Pro twenty E. Uh so obviously that's a problem. And uh NAM Pro twenty E is currently installed in JTAG tool as a uh, default. So what we need to do is go to JTAG twenty D, you can find a link in the description. And uh take all the files and send them to extract them sorry to the JTAG tool directory under programs files there we go <coughs> excuse me and go to JTAG tool and extract them all there yes to all and that's just overwriting the old NAMPRO 20E files and then we need to find out to be able to use a patcher we need to find out our IO port is device manager which you can find quite easily and uh, you'll find your PCI LPT port under two places adapters and ports you want to use the one on port so right click properties and then tab onto resources and you find the number right here EO80 that's what you need okay now once we've got that number we need to what well, number uh, number yeah need to go ahead and open JTAG tool, you may need to open that as an administrator go to advanced mode and you will see at the minute it will look for I just need to do that obviously I've blacked out my CPU key there read NAND and it will look for its default um, uh, addresses, well IO port addresses that's what they should be called um, and you go to settings, he's included the IO port patcher thing so um let's go change ports and type in your IO port which is minus EO AO. You cannot leave any of these blank, otherwise it will cause problems. And you need to um select your nampro.exe which is in the JTAG tool uh, directory there. And just click patch. And it uh, should have done that there. Let's go check it's worked. And there we go. It look it's looking for EO80, and it's and the other ones are still the same. Okay, that that should uh, help you out. Uh, but if you're using a PCI expansion board, you will need to remove the resistors um, from your LPT cable, as uh, the LP PCI things use such a low voltage. I think that uh, it doesn't doesn't work. The, the resistors stop it working. You you will get the error of um, you get this error if um, you'd get this error. This mean this one here. You cannot could not detect a flash controller. You'd get that error if that happened. Um, but overall, that error means it hasn't detected anything. Um, yeah, and I hope this video helps. But you don't need to remove the diodes. So I hope this video helps. If you found it useful, remember to subscribe. I'll be doing a few more tutorials. And uh, thanks for watching.